We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at the Zenith Pro. Uh, this is from uh, Peter Bissardo and the Vaping Reek and it, uh, it looks something a little bit like this. Actually, it's by Phil Bissardo and Dimitri. Uh, I, I just can't resist taking the Michael out of them. I think, God, how long has it been? Has it been over a year since the first one? I'd have to go back and check. Uh, but what they've done is basically they took all the feedback from the original one, everything that people on the internet complained about, and they've tweaked it. In fact, a lot of the tweaks on this are worthwhile additions to the tank, and uh, it's it's... This is actually restricted direct lung and mouth to lung now, and it's even proper mouth to lung. Uh, I the, the mouth to lung coils now, the mouth to lung, the coils are backward compatible. There are new coils for this tank. It's the Z coils, so the ones that were out before you'll still be able to use in this tank, but uh, they've got new ones, and I'll just quickly show you to them here. Um, so one for restricted direct lung or a very warm mouth to lung uh, and the other one is primarily mouth to lung uh, but the highest you'll vape at really with this realistically is 24 25 watts which is perfect for me uh, it's a one ohm coil for the restricted direct lung and the new mouth to lung coil i will say is the flavor is very good from it it's very good uh, the other one um, I'll cover at the end. I will say the one I have here is 5.5 milliliter capacity. That's what the world will get basically. But if you're in a TPD country, then there shall be a two milliliter capacity version coming. I think that will do for just now. We'll open up a brand new one and we'll, yeah, we'll show you what this one's like. Now I have two here, uh, a black and silver one. Uh, this is the one that I have been vaping away with. So what we'll do is open up the brand new one. Taking the sleeve off, usual uh, platform series designed by Phil and Dimitri. A little thank you card from both of the gentlemen and on the back a QR code for more information but it also tells you about the new coils in there as well and the suggested vaping range for them. Tank in the top. One manual that will take you through everything you need to know about this device. You have spare glass in there and you have another drip tip. You also have a, a beauty ring as well, uh, which I will show you in a second. You have, this is the restricted direct lung uh, coil that is in here. I mean, it comes fitted uh, with the mouth to lung coil already, or sorry, it already comes pre-fitted with the, you know, the mouth to lung one. But uh, you can see that the restricted direct lung coil it is gold whereas the other one is silver so you can differentiate between the two quite easily and you can see the kind of coil that they've gone for inside there and there's a lot more air that passes through this than the mouth to lung coil i think i have a mouth to lung coil here yes here's one i made earlier and you can see yeah this is a lot more restricted you've got the mesh guard in the top here smaller wicking holes and that, you know, this has, uh, I think this is 10 to 14 watts, if I remember correctly. And I think this is about 20 to 24 watts for the restricted direct lung. Spare glass, uh, it feels like a, a quartz glass, the drip tip that's on it. Uh, this is, it's a bit more of a, a narrow bore, the one that's, that's on it just now. Uh, but this other one, it does have sl slightly wider bore on it. Now I will say at its widest point with this beauty ring round here, it is about 26.2 millimeters at its widest point. That does kind of matter for anybody that's using a side-by-side -side mod. So this is on the beefier width. It's about 42 millimeters in height, not including the, the drip tip or the 510. And the actual diameter down the bottom here uh, is 24 millimeters. Uh, but right, uh, differences, or, or does this matter? Are you interested in the differences? But we'll, we'll just go top to bottom. Right, first things first. I am flat. It's completely flat here. There's no riser, uh, so you can take any drip tip that you want, or any 510 drip tip, pop it on there, and it's going to look okay, uh, which is a definite improvement on the original Zenith. To fill this up, you can see here, it does actually have, you know, open and close on it, and I'm just going to spin this here, and there you go. You just pour your liquid down there. Now, the one thing I will say that I've come across, if I, I try just pouring my liquid, down there uh, then it tends to back up and um, 
and it's not so great you have to make sure you get your nozzle right down inside there and to do that majority of the time take the drip tip off and get your nozzle right in there and it will fill no problem but it is a slight con that you know when you just try pouring your liquid in it will pull here and you know you will struggle filling it so but it is something I do have to mention close it off job done we do have the zenith pro written on here uh, there will always be those that uh, you know having it written here close open you know it, it might be a bit ott but i know the way the guys think and um and yeah for me for for who these tanks are aimed for or who will use them i don't personally have an issue with having the open and the close written in such a large font there Going down the bottom, we have the, you know, we've got the usual Inakin branding going on here, but 510, there we go, platform series and designed by the guys. Uh, if you want to change your coil out, then you just unscrew the base here. Off it comes. I will say that this is like the original Zenith, uh, and I'm sure I mentioned this in my original Zenith review. Uh, I hope this doesn't come across wrong, but some tanks from China feel cheap. They feel like cheap metal. Uh, this is solid. This actually feels... Actually, I said this in the original review. It does feel like a quality tank. Uh, but usual uh, way of changing your coil out here. But there's something slightly different. It's actually spring-loaded. Uh, what happens is, you know, even when this tank is full of juice and you take the coil out, you can turn it up like this. No juice comes out. Uh, there's actually a sealing mechanism in here. Uh, and... On my other one with uh, you know a coil that's got juice on it, it actually pops in and it's like almost like spring loaded. But when you're putting your coil back in, you just push it down and just give it a little turn clockwise and that locks it off. But you can see there that we've got the padlock, you know, you're going anti-clockwise to take the coil out and lock it off is clockwise. I hope I've got that the right way around. Anyway, there you go. Also, when you've got the bottom section off, you can unscrew this guy take the other beauty ring it's not a is this a beauty ring i don't know if it's a beauty ring um the threads are okay they're a, a little bit janky but that that's going to be because this is brand new and there, i think there's actually paint on yeah you can see that there's there's paint on these threads here i would imagine threading this on and off over time will take that paint off those threads and it'll be easier to screw it on and off but I'll just put this back together just now and there we go a little bit of black and red now before we have a look at the tank i should point out the airflow uh yes there you go look at all that air uh you can go restricted direct lung with this and you can turn this back and you can take it all the way down as low as you like you can even do proper mouth to lung if you take the, the beauty ring off you can also then just if i push this you can see that i'm actually this section here will come out and then you can get your glass tank out uh, you'll see that there's an o-ring two o-rings here for the glass tank so if you want to wash this out completely which is something you couldn't do with the previous one you now can putting it back in make sure you get your little locating pins oh there's only one sorry one there there's a notch there and this will just pop in should do on a good day there we go and put everything back together now there's only one thing i want to really point out while we're down here up close so if you had this on a mod you've screwed this down in a mod you can change your afc your airflow control change it no problem at all uh, when i go to unscrew the tank uh, if you've over tightened it there is a chance that you could start unscrewing this and and by mistake uh, it can happen if you're not careful so you could end up taking that off it's only going to happen if you over tighten your tank onto your mod um, but I just feel it's something I should really point out so just summing this up again we've sorted out the top section here you can use any drip tip you want uh, they've taken that riser out we have a little bit of a juice flow thing going on here it doesn't shut it off 100% but there is a little bit there so you can use that when you're filling you can fill through here just make sure you get the nozzle right inside you, you're going to have to take the drip tip off we have the the shut off when you're taking the coil out so you can actually leave the tank sitting like that when you take the coil out it will not flood we have more air we've got restricted direct lung and mouth to lung now the two brand new z coils and 
we'll talk about it all when we go back up top. I think the first thing we'll do is we'll start with the coils. Now, once again, the old coils, if you have any Z coils from the past, they're still compatible with the new tank and the other way as well. Using this restricted direct lung, um, so I'm at 24 watts. I'm using a heavy VG just now. Uh, it's a, a one ohm coil and the airflow is it's a restricted direct lung. So you have that option. I'm now going to pop in the other coil. I must admit, I, I do love what they've done with this, um, you know, just twist the coil and it pops out and it locks off the tank so you can leave it sitting up. Uh, that, that is kind of clever. So the 1.2 ohm coil, in here now. I have the airflow control shut down, I hope this focuses, to one air hole here. And uh, I'm using, uh, this is a Cyan Mods Heather Drip Tip here. Uh, and it's mouth to lung. It's a good mouth to lung. Is it a 0 0.8 um, old school kind of mouth to lung? Just about, just about. I would still call it a proper mouth to lung. I know that will make them happy, but uh, here we go. 10 watts. And here's the thing. Um, <laughs> this coil, um, as soon as I put juice in the tank with, with this coil, uh, the mouth to lung, the, the flavor is great. This is a really good coil. Uh, as far as pre-built coils go, I'm a rebuildable kind of guy. Uh, this is really good. The, the flavour is superb from this coil. And unfortunately, it shows up the 1 ohm coil. Um, the 1 ohm coil is good, but the mouth to lung coil, is the, the flavour is much, much better. And that is, for this whole thing, uh, there's one other thing that I don't really don't like about the tank, but I think it's unfortunate that they've got the, the 1.2 is so good and the 1 ohm is middle of the road, flavour wise. There is a clear distinction between the two for me and, and that is my biggest con. That's my biggest con. It is a positive that you can now do mouth to lung and you can also do a restricted direct lung with this device. So you can go from 10 watts to 24 watts and, and it, it works well across that spectrum. It, it's just one coil is so much better than the other for me, especially with dessert flavors, especially with dessert flavors. I haven't tried fruit or tobacco with the restricted direct lung, so I can't comment on that. But um, as always, I'm, I'm just calling it how I find it. Other people may find it completely different, but uh, yes, I like all the things they have changed from the original one. I really do. I think they've done a cracking job in this, or a very good job, as I should say. Um, it, it's the, the only thing I do not like about this is, God, I wish this was 22 millimeters in diameter. I, I know that that's possibly you know, the old school stuff now, most people want, you know, you've got things like, you know, this mod here, you know, you, you want the bigger tank on it. Uh, it looks better than a, a small 22 millimeter diameter tank. I understand that. I get it 100%, but I'm just talking for myself here. This is my, this is my, this is my review. This is my opinion. I would prefer a 22 millimeter version but you don't always get what you want. And, and I'm sure for the vast majority of people that are going to pick up one of these, they'll be more than happy. Uh, I, I'm not a fan, I must admit, of the, the narrow base down here, and then it kind of like comes out up the top. Uh, also watch out for filling it. You will have to take the drip tip off. You will, unless you've got a really long needle nose bottle. I did find that if I didn't take the drip tip off, it would back up. Uh, the juice and, and it was a pain but every time I take the drip tip off it's okay. I don't get any liquid pooling here. Uh, that's not an issue for me. Uh, the coil system's great. The beauty ring is great. Um, I, I really, really like this tank. I'm not 
a pre-built. I'm not somebody that uses these tanks day in, day out uh, by choice because I like rebuildables. But being completely honest as always, this is actually very good. The only major issue with it is, and, and, and maybe it's been slightly unfair, is that one coil sh shines. It, it's really good. The mouth to lung coil is very, very good. Whereas the restricted direct lung, the, the one ohm one, just isn't quite there. However, I will add that don't forget this is backward compatible, you know, the old Z coils. So the, is it the 0.48? Um, maybe, I don't know, I've not got any 0.48s, I've not got any of the old Z coils here, but you know, the 0.48 ohm may actually be better for this, uh, yeah, slightly higher wattage for this restricted direct lung vaping. Uh, but once again, the, the, the mouth to lung, uh, I'm completely closed off here. It's, it's not, it's good. It's really good. The flavour's excellent. That is. Uh, and that's it. That's all I've got for you in the Zenith Pro. There may be many things that I have forgotten. I will expect uh, two elderly gentlemen to contact me via email and tell me everything I've missed in due course. But to you guys, uh, keep your eyes peeled for other reviews. Go and watch those other reviews and, uh, you know, get opinions from more than one person and, uh, and then decide if you want to go and buy one. But thank you to Inikin for sending this on and to you guys. Until next time, bye for now.